Good afternoon students. Today we are going to start a new chapter that is your sum. In previous video I discuss you about the force, pressure and type of force. Now today we start a new one that is your sum. Now what is sum? The question arises in our mind, what is sum? It is basically a pattern found in the vibration or movement of molecules of air. It is basically a pattern found in the vibration or movement of molecules of air. When a sound is made, when a sound is made, air molecules move out from the source in waves. So what is sound? It is a basically a pattern found in the vibration or movement of molecules of air. Now next. So many questions arises when the sound word is come in our mind. What is sound? How do we make sound? Why does sound move that fast? What parameters does the speed of sound depends on? How do we work with the pitch and the volume of sound? So, first we discuss about the vibration. What is mean by vibration? Very fast, repeated, backward and forward movement of particles of matter. Very fast, repeated, backward and forward movement of particles of matter. For example, the vibration of the tuning force creates pure sound. The vibration of the tuning force creates pure sound. The hammer hits the nail and the particle vibrate making noise. So what is vibration? Very fast repeated backward and forward movement of particles of matter. How sound travels? Sound is caused by making object vibrate. Example, plucking a guitar string. Plucking a guitar string. Your vocal cords vibrating. Tin whistle making air vibrate drum beating the drum skin vibrate now what is a vacuum now question is a right to say is there any sound in a vacuum can sound travel in vacuum why or why not now first how the sound is produced sound is produced due to the vibration of object vibration is the rapid to and fro motion of an object example the sound of human voice is produced due to the vibration of the vocal cord a stretched rubber band when plugged vibrates and produce sound for that we do a one activity strike the prolongs of a twinning fork on a rubber pad and bring it near the ear we can hear a sound if a suspended table tennis ball is touched with the vibrating prolong the ball is pushed away repeatedly 
this shows that the proton is vibrating and vibrating object produces sound so when the object is vibrating then sound is produced now sounds need a medium to travel sound is a mechanical waves sound is a mechanical waves and needs a medium for propagation it needs a medium for propagation sound travels through solid liquid and gases sound can be travel through solid liquid and gases sound does not travel in a vacuum so sound does not travel in vacuum for that we do one activity suspend an electrical bell in an air tight bell jar suspend an electric bell in an air tight bell jar connect the bell jar to a vacuum pump connect the bell jar to a vacuum pump if the switch is pressed if the switch is pressed we can hear the sound of the bell we can hear the sound of the bell if air is pumped out if air is pumped out through the vacuum pump we can not hear the sound of the bell this show that sound needs a medium to travel and sound cannot travel in vacuum sound cannot travel in a vacuum it needs a medium to travel how sound travel in a solid liquid and gases the speed at which sound travels from one place to another depend upon the medium so speed of the sound depend upon the medium and how closely packed the molecules are in the matter a medium is a substance that allows sound waves to travel through it where there is no medium no sound can be transmitted of the three medium solid liquid and gas sound waves travel the slowest through gases faster through liquid and fastest through solid because in the solute the particles are closely packed and in the gas molecules the partly particles are not closely packed so in a solid the sound travel fastest and in the gas it is less so i hope you understood about the sound how sound is produced and how the sound travel now thank you